I'm seeing a disturbing trend that's going on out here, and I think we need to be more cognizant of what's being prepared for us in response to our agitated state and our agitated actions that we participate in. Uh, this video is uh, prepared from a compilation of different um, amateur video that's out there, and I want you to take heed to what's going on and I also prepared a, a document that I've been recently made aware of that I think is going to be very important to you and I think that everybody should click on the link that's provided for you so you can get a copy of this, this particular document so that you can examine it and see what it is that maybe you should or maybe you shouldn't do in these times that's approaching us but anyway check out the video and I'll comment on it in a minute. Once again, click on the link provided for you and view the document entitled Army Field Manual for Civil Disturbances. This will be very enlightening for you and I think it will be very urgent for you to understand. But this next video is a video about a police shooting. Actually, they killed the guy. But I want you to pay attention to what's being said by the guy who got killed as well as the people that are standing around. I want you to listen to this and then we're going to talk about it, okay? Come on, you banging bro. up. He got his gun out. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They got their guns out. Oh, they just killed this man. Damn. Okay, did you hear the guy that got oh shot? He God. was saying, shoot me now. Shoot me. Shoot me now. Then apparently, the police were saying, drop the knife. Drop the knife. As the story goes, the guy went into a convenience store in the neighborhood and he stole a couple they cans of soda. Him. And he came out and he set the cans on the ground. Then he went back in and he stole a honey bun. And he came back out waiting for the police to show up. So uh, you probably didn't hear it because it was in a different video clip, but what the guy that was apparently filming this shooting uh, witnessed the fact that the store owner had called the police because I heard him say, did you call the police? So apparently the store owner called the police, then the police showed up and he was still acting irate. And you saw the result of it. But what I want to comment on is the fact that this guy uh, got shot nine times. He was actually laying on the ground. If you listen carefully, I think he got shot three more times after he was already down on the ground. So the police had every intent to kill this guy, and and they could have taken other action, I believe. But the problem is, is that the guy asked to be shot. He said several times, "Shoot me now." Take another listen to it. You'll see what I'm talking about. He banging up. He got his gun out. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. They got their guns out. Oh, they just killed this man. Damn. Oh my god. They just killed him. Okay, I was wrong. They actually shot this guy four or five times after he went down. After he, after they shot him four times, three or four times, he began to fall. He failed after about the fourth shot, and they put four or five more shots into the man while he was laying on the ground. So obviously, the intent was to kill, and these guys are nothing more than murderers. That's how I see it. So people, you better wake up, and I provided a um, 
PDF file that you can click on a link that's provided for you so you can actually view this PDF file and download it for yourself and read it at your leisure but I would suggest that you read it in a hurry because this is what the police and the government is planning for you when you're out here participating in these uh, what they call riots you know civil disturbances is what it is and these ones have a duty to protect the public so I suggest that you, pay, you people become aware of what's going on and protect yourselves, your loved ones, and your family. Until the next time, y'all, peace.